Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another daily plans and goals video where I share my progress with you guys. Um, I guess most of you already know that but I, I just say it just in case anyone's watching for the first time. Anyways, I have completed quite a few things, well actually I, I just basically got these two to 5 stars max level yesterday. I'm planning to raise them for my like, you know, OP self sustain team that I, I've been testing out, uh, that or that I want to test out. But I think the main problem is I don't have a lot of good crit rate gems. Um, I need like basically two square, six star crit rate gems and I need like really good crit rate um, substats to kind of push her her crit rate and um, and his crit rate to 100% which is going to be very very difficult because like I can either do that or I can just put two crit rate gems and that will definitely be able to push it to 100% but it might not be as effective. Um, because they need to do some some damage in order to to self sustain as well. Um, yeah, so I I, I kind of need to rely on on substats to do that. Anyways, I I raised her to five stars. I'm planning to six star her today. I'm basically short just three more fire stones. Definitely gonna do that. Once I do that, I think I should be able to farm B10. My my B10 team will basically be these three, her, and just. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Just these three and her. I did a few tests yesterday. Like I was testing with um, with my friends' monsters, like with their with with a lot of different types of nukers. Um, I realized that the only thing I need in order to beat B10 is actually a nuker. I don't necessarily need to use the wild thing, but I just think she's easier to build because she has self-sustain. So I'm gonna test it out with my my friends' um, wild thing. This one has HP, attack, attack. Um, I don't think it's exactly the best gems, but it's still a full Valor set. So she has like 8,000 attack, and she's evil three. Probably a lot stronger than my Wild Fang, but I don't think he, I don't think you need to have her this strong in order to clear B10. I think like basically with my gems, if I get them to plus 15, I should be able to still do B10 no problem. So we're gonna actually do a test, all right? We're gonna do a test. It's gonna be similar to what I did in yesterday's videos for B9. So this is actually a really, really good scenario. Um, usually, like if you get a lot of moon flowers, that, that's that's when shit, like that's when really bad shit happens. And basically, what you need is for your monsters to be strong enough to kill the moon flowers before they get their AoE off. Because once if they do get their AoE off, you're you're in really, really deep shit. So just like no matter what, they need to die before they get their AoE off. Which I guess isn't that hard. And also if your cute if my Cupid can have his shield up before they get their AoE off, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like this is kinda bad. Because she has a max bar. But I, I do have my shield, so I, I was able to survive. But I think the the main... Like, the, the most important thing is to basically... Um, have the majority of their team dead before they get a full SP bar. Which requires you to have, like, very, very high damage, I think. I'm not sure if, if the Wild Thing is exactly the best monster for this. Or if I should raise the Dark Gatito. Because I was testing it with a friend's Dark Gatito yesterday. And it also worked very well. But the the problem is um, with the Gatito is you need to have very, very good gems. Like that was really bad. Like I if my Cupid shield wasn't on, that Wild Fang would be dead. I think that Wild Fang still might die. Like if they both attack that Wild Fang, like really bad RNG just now, I might have died as well. So I'm, I'm still kind of iffy, like I'm not sure exactly if I should raise my wild thing or to, to 6 stars or if I should uh, or if I should just use use the dark Gatito. Like if I want if I want to raise my wild thing to 6 stars I can do it today but if I want to raise the dark Gatito I kind of need to wait a few more days. But also keep in mind that like my my gems on a lot of my uh, like these the other three units don't um, they're not maxed out they're not completely maxed out and once they're maxed out it's gonna definitely be a lot stronger. I 
attack down is really really bad on wild thing like if it does land she's not going to be able to heal enough if the golem keeps hitting her but normally that doesn't really happen what i've noticed um on the b10 boss is that his resistance is like super super high i guess everybody kind of does know that already um but the problem with that is it makes it so you're not able to land the armor breaks and if you're trying to run a sap team against him, it's still rel relatively difficult because, you know, because of his high resistance. And I'm pretty close with this team, so I, I thought I might as well like give up on the sap team and, and just do this instead. If it can get to this point, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Like it's it's pretty GG for him. All right now the armor break landed. All right, now he's dead for sure, 100%. Because once armor break lands, you're pretty fucked. I'll do one more run after this with the Dark Gatito, and then you guys can kind of uh, kind of see the the difference between the two. I'll I'll do it with a friend, Dark Gatito, go through his room, his gems as well. I think it's pretty stable. Like the only problem is if they somehow don't kill one of the moonflowers or something early on, I'm in a little bit of trouble. All right, so that was that was it. Um, but. The problem with my, if I do raise the Dark Katito, is I don't think I have the gems to make him work. Like this one's not that good, it's a uh, attack, crit rate, defense. But it's still relatively, you know, it's still, it still hits pretty hard. Um, because it is a it is a Dark Katito. So I was testing it with his Dark Katito yesterday. And, you know, I could probably get gems similar to this grade, I think. I mean, these aren't really, really good subsets. Um, but they're they're decent. Like this one has crit rate. You know, this one's crit rate and, and attack uh, at 12%, which is which is probably still better than whatever I have. I was like, only able to try it once yesterday with uh, with this team. But I'm not exactly sure if I can do it. But if I do do it with the Dark Atito, he's actually like if he if he crits on the first hit, um, I'm normally able to kill anything. I can do something similar like defense or defense, um, the yeah, defense attack crit rate on him as well. I think damage is the key. I, I, I honestly think that um, it's not trying to tank through their damage, it's to kill them before they can they can do anything to your team. Like that, I think that's the key to B10. So I basically need to get my C star with more crit rate, and I'm also considering putting crit rate on my Cupid as well. Go like HP, crit rate, HP, because he's an aggressor as well. Yeah, that actually does a lot of damage. Alright, this is really bad. It's like three moon flowers. But my Cupid does have a... Does have a full bar. So he's at least able to put up a shield. Alright, they're gonna attack me for one more turn. Which is still fine. And basically, like, by, by three turns, you need to basically kill something. And if you don't, you're in really, really deep shit. Oh my god, none of those went to the Cupid. Yeah, this is really bad. I need more damage on my units. I think everyone just needs a lot more damage. This is bad, my Cupid's dead. One, Red Souls go to Cupid. All 
Alright, that's a dead Cupid. Oh, that was really bad RNG. I don't know what happened. Like, it was just really, really bad RNG. I don't think it's... I don't think it's this Katito's fault. It's just my units. Like, my Arthur, I built him with, like, double HP, which is kind of bad. He just needs more damage, I think. Basically, you need to kill them before they can kill me. Rip, rip, rip. Yeah, so that was, that was just some B10 tests. Um, I'm not sure which one's better, if like I should raise the wild thing or sh I should raise the Katito and try to do B10. I think it was just my Cupid's fault. I probably should have gemmed him with one, one slot defense. Or no, actually I should have gemmed him with one slot crit rate. So I can actually kill them. Like I can actually do damage. Like he can actually do damage and kill them before anything. Um, yeah, so that's that's everything, um, and you know, hopefully you guys have some ideas. If you guys have some suggestions, definitely be sure to list them below um, on what I should do to, to clear B10, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.